Well, it's the summertime and players are working hard, but also resting up. And we were fortunate to catch Nick Collison here at a Thunder Youth basketball camp. Nick, first things first, you had a procedure on your knee. How are you feeling and how has the rehab process been for you so far? Uh, it's going great. Um, every Everything I've done, I've done without pain and we're moving forward. And uh, it wasn't a... a a real complicated surgery it was something I felt like pretty confident I was going to be able to get back uh, relatively quickly from, and it's it's going to plan, so I feel really good about it. How beneficial is it just to have staff, coaches, and, and other guys around the facility to help you with these types of things? Uh, they're the best at it, and uh, they know my history too, but uh, to be able to have everything at our facility um, with the training staff, the weight room, and a little bit on the court I'm doing now, so um, it, it's all in one, and it's, it's the best place to, for me to be. Uh, to do my rehab. There have been some changes this summer. Um, have you had a chance to speak with the new head coach, Billy Donovan, and what are your thoughts and impressions so far? Uh, I've sat down with him a few times, and um, he's just trying to get to know the players, And but he's he's a very sharp guy, and um, I think he's going to do a good job. Well, we'll, like always, you wait and see, and you don't ever know until you until you work with somebody, but um, you know, I think he um, he's, he's getting, he's learning more and more about our team and, and um, what we can get better at and, and learning more about our players. As the, the most veteran guy on the team, somebody who's been with this organization for your entire career, how much, I guess, responsibility do you kind of feel come with a new head coach to help integrate him into what you guys do here, into the, the core of the philosophy? Well, I think for players, it's going to be important that um, we're receptive to new things and buy into new things. Um, it, um, it, it can be, you know, we've done things one way for a long time, and so a lot of things are going to be different. So uh, it doesn't do any good to waste time fighting that. We, we, we need to come in with the idea that uh, we're going to be open-minded and we need to get better and we're ready to, to, to buy into to whatever the staff wants to do. In your mind, as somebody who's been in the league for a really long time, what are some of the things that you would hope that this team can be open-minded about in terms of maybe some slight changes or, or larger changes uh, just about how you guys go about your business? Well, there's, there's going to be changes, no doubt, with a new coach, new staff. They're going to do things differently. Um, but I think uh, there's so many different phases of the game we can get better at. And um, I think, uh, like I said, we need to be receptive to that. If something is done differently, um, it could be better, um, so we have to be um, we have to be open to that, and um, you know we'll see what, what specifically what those things are they want to do when we get there. You personally seem to have a your kind of summer regimen that you go through pretty consistent. Can you just sort of detail for the fans what you go through during the summer to hone your craft and improve upon your game? Well, this summer with the surgery, I had surgery last summer also. Um, I'll spend the first part doing rehab, work on my body, and it's a good way to start the summer. It gives me a good base um, with how much work I'll put in on, on um, trying to get my body right to, to, to get this knee in a, in a good spot. Um, and then as, as I get stronger and able to do more and more things, it'll be more a lot of weight training um, with the idea still of strengthening um, the areas affected by the surgery. And then I'll get on the court, I'll start um, you know, depending on, on when they want me on the court, I'll start. Usually I do a couple of days of individual work and a couple of days of playing pickup and, um, and take some days off to, to, to recover. And I've got a good, um, a good feel of, of what I like to do and what kind of shape I like to be in when I come back in September. And uh, I'll stick to that. That's one of the good things about being around a long time. You start to figure your body out and figure those things out. Your role has been fairly defined over, over your career, but when you look at the roster that's been assembled here, the way that you fit in, just how excited are you about the prospects of next season when you guys are fully healthy? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the that's the thing. This year was a struggle. It was frustrating at times with guys being out. And, uh, you know, there's no guarantee that everyone's healthy all the time, but we're really looking forward to having everybody back and, and excited excited to play with the full squad again. And uh, we got a ton of talent. we got a great roster. And uh, it's going to be, hopefully, a, a really good year for us. When you, when you look at the team when it's fully formed, where are the areas where you think that you guys can be particularly effective or per particularly devastating to opposing teams? Well, we've always, uh, we've always had a ton of talent here. So I think, uh, again, it's, it's um, getting better at execution. Um, if we can really execute in, um, on both ends and, and really get our defensive uh, game back 
back to where it was and really become a good defensive team, I think we can be really hard to beat. Um, but but um, we, we got some work to do and we got to get better. We saw last year, even with the injuries, we saw we weren't good enough. So we have, we have a, a lot of work to do. Well, there will be a lot of work to be done throughout the summer and then training camp, of course. You're going to have a little time for rest and relaxation and fun before then? Oh, of course, yeah. I find, I find time for that too. And it's important. It's a, mentally, it's a long draining season. So uh, you want to come back excited to play, ready to play. You don't want to come back uh, feeling like, oh man, I got to be in the gym longer, longer, longer. And uh, I think, um, again, like I said, Knowing yourself in your in your 30s, like a wise old man that I am, uh, you really, I really, I think I got that figured out pretty well. A good mix, and then I'll be ready to go when camp starts. Well, great, thank you for joining us, Nick. Good luck with the rest of your summer, and uh, enjoy.